As a relatively young individual, looking back at my worldview and beliefs even a year ago, I find myself pretty dumb compared to my current self, which coincidentally means that I'd probably do the same thing for my current self a few years into the future, and so on, meaning any belief system I adopt is doomed to fail. The human brain is a powerful machine for predicting the future. Because of it, you are not surprised by leaves falling from trees, or that uh, the next uh, text is written in, in letters. However, besides that, you are also not surprised that your opinion is no interest to anyone, that you are treated with disrespect and that the world does not want to obey your desire. You are very well aware what should happen to you next and what the world is like. Because this has happened to you many times, and the world, in the meantime, has always been the same. A person looks at things through the foggy veil of their previous experience, expecting from the world what has happened to them many times. And you know what? It happens again. One person in crisis always sees opportunities, while another only sees crisis. The difference is only that the first one perhaps accidentally successfully invested money during one of such market downturns, and also he has less cortisol. Let's figure out actually who you are. To put it simply, your identity consists of your memories, memories of memories, and some genetic code. While your memories constantly change, they form the framework your brain operates within. Your sense of self or identity constantly evolves. As you consume new information, your identity shifts. Therefore, you are not the same person as you were just 5 seconds ago. If our ego is the product of our environment and experience we have, then our worldview is probably a little bit, you know, skewed. There is no right or wrong way to think, live or act. So if anyone tells you that they figured out the correct way to live, they are either ignorant or driven by greed. Either way, they've got lots of homework to do. Everyone has biases and patterns of thinking. It's really hard to recognize them and figure out an impact. Are they destructive or are they good for you? In today's digital world, if you don't completely align with the beliefs of a particular group, you're always labeled as an agent of the opposing faction. You either hate women or you're a simp. You either subscribe under all radical beliefs, let's say of feminism, or you actually think that human rights are for human, not women. You either care about Palestinian children or you're a soulless creature with no empathy and no right to express your opinions. There is simply no middle ground. I'm not saying that someone is good or bad, I'm saying that everyone is in his own echo chamber. Your mind is your prison, and sadly, there is no escape. I'm trying to say that recognizing your biases, thinking and thinking about why do you think like that, is the only way to improve. Anyways, we are all going to die. Probably. So, do what you are actually interested in. If you don't find interest in thinking or improving yourself, you should probably find a new hobby. This is not necessary to live actually a good life. Bye.